Okay, so let's explain everything and what was going on here at this job. So we are here at the uh, project that we've shown this big septic. It is cold and windy today. So this project is an interesting one. Big septic, awesome, awesome job. You see the size of these tanks? They popped out of the ground. One of them popped out of the ground. So we are here today pouring concrete around these tanks. The engineers told us what to do. We installed the septic and the design as per engineer designs showed up here one day and that tank over there was popped out of the ground, 30,000 liter tank. Um, believe it or not, the weight of these things, they can actually pop out of the ground, which was crazy, but engineers told us what to do in order to get them back in the ground. So that's what we're here doing today. We're gonna pour concrete all around it and uh, put these straps over top, of the con uh, over top of the tanks to secure it in the ground. We got 42 meters of concrete showing up. That's the scope of the work today here. Woo, it's cold. There's a lot of back and forth with the engineers. Uh, we were kind of at a standstill for a couple of weeks. Problem being is we could have came up with a resolution on how to make this work, but when you're dealing with a project of this size, it was something where we wanted to make sure that we had an actual document showing us signed, sealed by an engineer. Hey, this is how to fix it, fix it like this, rather than take the responsibility onto ourselves. Mic'd up, mic'd up, bud. He's fixing my collar for me. So you look, look good. You look cute. <laughs> I look like a rock star in and out of car cars, living out of suitcase, trash in hotel bars. If I say the sun rises, it's cause I stayed up all night, drinking cause I need to. Damn it, what a good life, judging by my own day. You might think I don't care, sitting here, sipping and bitching about a spot where people would kill to be killed to be killed. Out of pit this year we got something pretty exciting this is something we're like we finally have access to a pit that has septic sand and our concrete sand concrete sand when i say that it's a atm s33 spec i believe it's a more coarse sand here which allows us to use this sand for our, our algin systems uh, a special type of speck of sand normal septic sand is a little more fine this still passes as septic sand it's a pretty unique scenario we have here because we meet both gradations. We got it tested. So we're at the back end of, the, and this is something new for this year that just happened. This isn't a pit. We're not looking to, to sell the sand to anybody else. This is just Ken White. We're using it, nobody else. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. What up, Daniel? What's up? What's up? So when we looked at the pit from a map, we noticed that back in the day, they left this kind of chunk of area. I guess maybe it didn't make sense for them to pull the sand themselves. Um, so what we're doing is going through and rather than normally when we land clear, we just totally demolish and get rid of everything. Here, in order to rehab the pit the proper way, we keep the stumps and all the material we're taking, we push it off. Once we pull the sand out and get everything back, we put the stumps and everything back into the ground and rehab the pit in the proper way. Then the big logs, why we're using chainsaws, the big logs we're actually keeping to sell for firewood in order to recoup some labor costs from doing this. If this sand didn't meet concrete spec sand, our Elgin sand, I don't think I'd be clearing this because the price of septic sand, it just doesn't make sense. But since we can get that sand, it does make sense for us. So we got the 336 here, the dozers behind me, the 299 with the mulcher on it. And we got Daniel, Darren, and Zach here uh, clearing, uh, clearing this land, making it all happen for us. doing was trying to see how deep we got until look at this layer of clay this is like just the stickiest bluest 
clay seal. So we have a good, it's about three and a half, four feet there until we get into that. It's crazy how it just changes. You're sand, 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 and then you're into that sticky ass fucking clay. So I'd say we got anywhere from four to five feet of sand everywhere. Okay, you can fill that back in and pack it. It's actually really nice topsoil. It's super organic-y. And then there's like a red sand. The sand out of the side here is pretty nice. I think that's actually why they call it uh, debris netting. <laughs> to stop debris. If we start throwing peanuts, we'll catch it. Yeah. Getting the cop would wear a mic. Okay, uh, we are here at 52 Garland for the demolition this morning. Um, cops are behind us. A um, bunch of stuff. We were we got the cops here to do a sweep of the building to make sure nobody was here. Sergeant just called someone in the office saying, hey, not a service we provide. If you find somebody, then you call us. But go ahead, take the building down. So we're going to uh, go tell them that and take down the building. super well. We got about a quarter of the building done, water trucks here, making sure that uh, the dust suppression stays down. Daniel's got some bell lines around. You watch those bell lines there, Danny. Uh, yeah, like it's going really good. It's a uh, quarter of the building down, dust has been good, no issues as of yet. So she's coming down. So we are at uh, local quarry this morning, grabbing some rock. A uh, good client of ours wants some border uh, rocks placed on their property at a dealership, basically to stop anything from coming out or in. So we're here pulling some upper lip rock. This is like whenever they blasted, this is the rock that fell down. And uh, we're gonna move this uh, over to the dealership and get the job done for them. 10 rocks, 315s on the other end. Beautiful morning in the quarry. We are at uh, the pit right now. Zach uh, is fueling up. Uh, right now, what we're doing is screening up a bunch of topsoil. We got the 336 here, fueling up the screener, stacker. This is a pile that was left here already. And uh, now that we have a pit, we're able to keep topsoil in two different locations, so it opens up. Now we don't have to do an hour round trip when we have jobs up in this town, uh, this part of the area. But this uh, stuff that was here, and we hauled in some heavier stuff to mix with it. It was kind of just sand. Um, it allows us to have a nice spring mix of, of soil. So yeah, it's, it's really sweet. I'll get up there and uh, show you guys what we're looking at. Yeah, it's a really good mix over here. We'll just check out the soil. Oh yeah, that stuff is unbelievable. That's a great spring mix. It's light, it doesn't clump. It's got a good sand organic content in it. It still hardens up. It doesn't just run, but that is, and it'll rake out nice. That stuff is bingo bongo. 
tell you, it's a lot of fun having this pit, man. It is, I'm having a blast doing this. Yeah, this stuff is great. Wow, this stuff's awesome. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, how are you feeling? Pretty good. Okay, how was Zach Bryan concert? Fucking nuts. Nice, you were off Monday, uh, were you recovering? Yes, sir. How's the topsoil going? It's pretty good, I think. Okay. It's nice stuff. Great, happy to hear that. Yeah, man, this stuff is sick. <laughs> how do I look? You look good. All right, okay, have at her. Amazing grace, I know you're way off up in them clouds, but if you could still hear me right now, I hope you hit those gold streets on two wheels. I hope your mansion in the sky's got a 10 acre field with some mud and some hooves you can lock in. Make some thunder, make them wonder how you got it. How'd you be here? How'd you clear from a man upstairs? Crank it loud. From the demolition, we went, to, we did some concrete and we started excavation. Uh, we were screening, doing some stuff with the pit. That's all stuff that was in this video. Um, we were in a bit of a, I guess, you know, slow area um, in construction right now, but uh, things are picking up insanely here. Just like we wanted. Uh, so we're looking forward to this year. Thank you guys for watching the videos. It's Friday right now. I'm filming this. This came out on Friday. I'm in safety training right now. So that's why I'm like up here. Take care. Have a good weekend. Catch you guys on the next one. But of course, I didn't forget if you guys are true patriots channel that watch the entire video to the end, which is right now. And if you are one of those true patriots, I want you guys to comment down below. Bring it down. Why are you commenting down below, bring it down? Well, we brought down that old two-story to put up a four-story multi-level residential building, which is gonna be super exciting. So if you guys watched the entire video to the end, comment down below, bring it down. I appreciate you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.